Hey puddle, why aren't you frozen like every other puddle? So today was planned maintenance today. Planned maintenance day. Uh, and I just got a phone call and we have to completely shift gears. Do you remember our motto about concrete? It goes something like this. Ready or not, here we come. Well, guess what? Snowed last night, which threw a monkey wrench in all the concrete uh, guys work this morning. And so they're flipping the schedule all around. We were scheduled tomorrow to backfill our trench and they're coming. <laughs> They'll be here in an hour and a half. What? So planned maintenance, not gonna happen today. Sorry backhoe, I know I told you that I'd take care of you after the timber frame and I will. And I have been, we got your lights working, remember? So right now I've gotta make another town run. Uh, and then I've also gotta grab a couple last things to make sure that our trench is ready to go for these concrete pumpers. I've also made a couple of mayday calls to friends and neighbors. Sorry guys, <laughs> I feel really bad. I've, I have overplayed the neighbor card so bad. Um, and then we've gotta, let's see, we've gotta make sure that the trench is ready to go. All right, gotta run. <sighs> okay. Sounds good, let the stress begin. All right, see you soon, bye. This is gonna be an interesting day. So apparently the pump guys need some stuff. They need water at the top of the hill, which we don't have. So Jesse is scurrying home to grab our IBC tank so that we can fill it with water and bring that to the top of the hill. And I have to go ahead and disconnect our little utility pump here that's currently hooked up to the hot tub. And then I need to get some hoses ready to go as well. And then he said there are some stumps that could potentially be in the way of the concrete truck backing up. So I need to go ahead and get some rebar set aside and maybe some three quarter PVC pipe so that we can drive the rebar into the ground and then stick the pipe over the, it. And that way, when the truck's backing up, they can see where the stumps are and not hit them. <laughs> Getting everything ready to load into uh, the other pickup truck. Plans. Change of plans. Jesse decided that we should use our new pump. It's our well pump. And we should pump from the hot tub outlet to the top of the hill with this and our new 10,000 watt generator. Um, so, can I run up now? Yeah. Help, please! Okay, the pump guys are here, and the sand truck is here. See, so he's getting the generator set up so we're ready to go, and they're gonna follow us to the top of the hill. The These guys working. have the attitude that this is gonna be an easy job for them. I think it will be. You think? They got the right tools. If you guys haven't seen the video where we dig this trench, 
give it a watch. It's our most viral video ever, and for good reason. It's pretty dang cool. Truck's popping its country, Cherry. How many loads of sand do we need? Two? We're bringing two for sure, and then okay. we'll have to call ahead for a third if we need it. Nice use of the PVC, Jesse. That's good. Yeah. Good on you. Takes the place of three people standing there screaming, Don't do it! Exactly. The man says, This should be easy. And I said, That means you're looking for something more challenging. Yeah, He's like, challenge. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. This is yeah. good. So uh, one of us needs to run down and uh, meet the other truck down below. Okay. And uh, kind of guide him up here. So um, if you want, I can kind of do a walk with the trench real quick with uh, okay. Ethan. So it sounds like they're gonna pump from top to bottom instead of having to pull hoses all the way back up so that's why it's nice to have somebody who's experienced knows what they're doing Is it gonna work? Well, It'll hold? If it doesn't, it's too late. Uh, Jesse, the water line tape is kind of floating in some areas, but I'm pretty sure we can. It's okay. If that's our worst problem, is bearing that, we're doing good. That's fine, yeah. Um, some of the conduit I pulled up up here, and I see okay. you've been tying it up. Yeah, I so. did okay on tying it up. Um, good news is if you reach in there and kind of grab it, you can pull it up. Yeah, kind of like radiant, right? Yeah. Like the sand uh, river. Okay, you saw the water rushing to the front of the drop. Oh, right. And then when it's spinning back. Okay. <laughs> if that's 11, we're gonna need three trucks. <laughs> He's not out yet. Okay. It's the first time for everything, Justin. Yeah, I know. I bet you never thought you'd see somebody pump sand. Nope. I bet you never thought you'd see somebody pay this much money for sand. <laughs> Otherwise you'll be uh, ourselves a ridiculous amount of effort by just pumping this into the footings and being done with it. The boco? Yeah. For footings? Yeah. No. Oh, it's a waste of money. Oh, you're talking underneath the footing? Yeah, underneath the footing. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Nah. We're just, what did we do? How do you even remember? We compacted oh, it. Oh, yeah. Gravel yeah, you can just, yeah. uh, you put this down and then compact it and done. Okay. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Is this to move the sand down or does it mean we're out of... That means you're out of... Okay, that's what I thought. Watch out, Bugaboo! <laughs> wow, Jesse! 
See, I can almost stand on it. Look, that's crazy. Wow. That that is it's true like, quicksand. It's like quicksand. <laughs> no, you just stand there and you don't move and you can't get out. It's like really? It feels like you're breaking a kneecap trying to get out. Wow. Before and it, you, know, you sound like deep. you speak oh. from experience. That's horrible. I think we're gonna need three trucks. Yeah. Sounds good. This was by far the worst. It gets a lot more narrow and even less deep down there. It started to harden up. This is all sand up here and then you get about where she is and the clay starts. And then you get down below and it's almost all clay. So it was real different when we were trenching it. So it'll be a lot less trench down below, but I think we're still gonna need a third truck. Started. Yeah. It's better to be over then. Well, we can always put it in there. I'm not yeah, gonna be sad. This is $40 a yard, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Plus probably five, 600, 500 for the pump. Something like that. We bought culvert for $900 and we still had to buy all the sand and whatever we were gonna fill it with, topsoil. So we were looking at two grand to do it ourselves. Or if we filtered the soil, it would have taken eons. We're taking, well, we don't have the soil, the soil to filter anymore. We've used it all up. Yep. So we'd had to buy it. And that's not cheap either. So at this point, we're basically barely paying for the placement and we're just paying for the material, which we would have had to do anyway. So at this point, they're saving us a phenomenal amount of labor. I really hope this stuff really locks into the trench yep. so it doesn't move. Once the water goes away, it seems like it's pretty legit. Oh boy. <laughs> we may have ourselves a pretty big mess to clean up after all this. Oh man. Pretty exciting. So we should probably do a damage assessment after this truck because it's all down at the bottom. Really? Uh oh. Yeah. So we need to build like a barrier. I think we need to build like a dam or something. I don't think you're going to have to move from right there. Ethan. It's going all the way yeah, to the right. bottom of the hill. Dammer up. Dammer up. Yeah. Sand dam. Sand dam. Sand dam. Sand dam. Sand dam. Am I putting rocks back in this trench? I know, right? What is this, this madness? My life is such, just like a paradox. So much, yep. She's finally damming up right here. And she's finally flowing. I think he's finally getting her right there. Um, we don't need like a ton of rock in here. So here, like use these to dam that up. Um, go lower, like by that root right there. Damn that root up so that it has to go over the root. When I woke up this morning, the last thing I thought we'd do was end up damming sand in this trench. Well, I talked to the concrete guy when he came up and kind of looked at the job, and I said we might have to build some dams just to slow it down until it can kind of the water can kind of run out. But even now, like all this sand is kind of damming up yep. a little bit. So, it's yeah, exactly. You don't want this in the trench. You know how I know it was a pita to take out. Yep. It's all the way down here at the hydrants. I, wow, look at that. Yeah. Our life is so exciting. <laughs> Thankfully it's sand, so you can just shovel it off there, but... Yeah, you don't need to backfill this, it's good. Yeah, okay. we're good. I think that's when it started to run was the water, not the sand. Because this seems to be really settling in good. It was just when you were pumping pure water. Hey kids, go play in the sandbox. It's 300 feet long and foot wide. Is the third truck here yet or do we have to wait? Oh, it's not here yet. A little wait. Okay. Thanks for the help, Justin. <laughs> do you think this will turn into a deer freeway? Well, if it does, it'll fall in. <laughs> a deer won't know Bug what to do. It's Bugaby will totally walk up oh, here. That's... I expect to see cat prints within oh, an yeah. hour. 
Turns out waiting for truck number three is taking a while. I'm gonna put the cannon away because it's not safe up there for it. And I'm gonna bring our headlights. Apparently the pump guys finish at night all the time. And I'm probably also gonna bring our LED lights up the hill so we can see up in her. Poor driver's trying to find his way around in here. See if I can come save him. It's really dark. It's winter time. That's why we try not to start these projects late in the day, but this one's kind of getting away from us a little bit. Yeah, he's trying to get through the hardest part up here. It's pretty tight coming in. How's it going? Good. I just so, I couldn't see past. Oh, I don't blame you, man. This is hard enough in the daylight. Yeah. So we uh, threw. There's a stump right there, right? So yeah, we PVC'd that one. Okay. And you got two others, and they'll be on your left side going up there. They've got a stick coming out of them, and it's on the inside of that stump. So as long as you're on the inside of that PVC, okay. you're solid. So All right, cool. you need any help getting back there? What do you think? Just, you want me keep, to just keep... I'll walk you know, behind you. Just walk behind me. Got and it. Keep an eye on me, and if you hear, see something... Okay. Yeah, big hauler. All right. Uh, looks like he's got a guy in front of him, so that's good. We managed to get the truck in here. That was quite a fiasco. Poor driver, the only way to make it worse would have been raining sideways or snow. Thankfully, at least it's clear, even though it's really dark. No moon tonight. And uh, man, trees everywhere, so. All right, getting down to the last load. Here's hoping three trucks will do it for us. Apparently, we ought to just buy a concrete pump. These guys are here so much, we might as well just own one. You know what the name of this video is, Alyssa? I thought it was like crazy, epic, insane. No. Trench it's here. you ain't a man till you pump sand at night. <laughs> <laughs> you have like this trench of muddy lava rolling yeah, through right. our property right now. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Dude, you can. This is a 47 degree slope. Which is over the angle of yeah. one of these tools. <laughs> Do you feel more bonded with us, Justin? Like witnessing this with us? Oh yeah. <laughs> Justin's been here. <laughs> I don't know why Justin keeps coming back. He's like the godfather of this trench. <laughs> He's been here since it was born. He's seen it grow Justin up. reminded me he was here on day one of the trench. Remember yeah. that? He's been here through the farts and the burps and the poopy <laughs> diapers and yeah. He's seen it all. Speaking of poopy diapers. Yeah, say, gosh. Do you want to give a visual <laughs> love when you go down a little bit yeah. and see how much we're doing down there? Yep. It's looking pretty good. If we could dam it, that would be a lot better. Um, I need to stand here and hold it. I can. Good. It slows it down. Yeah, but only Maybe. until it jams up. Can you, is the pressure too much? Like I can put rocks on the I'm side. i to figure out rocks won't help anything. There's two by fours right here. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see this, but Jesse and I are using our weight and strength to try to keep the sand in the trench, but we're doing pretty good. We have a lot of sand that's trying to spooge out. It's looking really good. Yeah, that looks incredible. I kind of want us to go down here and dam it up. Okay. So I, I got think this. I can hold this, Jesse. I got this. Are you sure? Can yeah. I hold that? Yeah. Can you get one no. of those pieces? I got it. Okay, I was asking. Uh oh. Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good dam you got there. Yep. It's starting to dry out a little bit. Trying to get a little wet. It's okay. You guys full? It's full where I'm at, but not where she's at. That'll help a little bit. And then I really need to go down a little lower. Can you? I gave you a small piece. Where'd that go? I can't see in some places at once. I know. Okay, we're not good. We're looking pretty good. Well, the good news is three trucks did it. 
We've got a bunch of sand at the bottom, so. Yeah. We're gonna get cleaned up and I think the guys are gonna pull the hoses down the hill instead of pulling them back up the hill. So we'll check in in a little bit. Hey, I'm digging walking up this trench. I think we have our pathway, Jesse. This is incredible. Wow. We can do laps up this. Well, we're already off and running this morning. We've got the next project that just got delivered this morning. Although that's not the next project for today. I got interrupted yesterday doing the backhoe truck and sawmill maintenance, but that's not what I'm here to talk about right now. <laughs> Man, it's just stacking up deep. So I wanted to come see the aftermath. I did a little bit of drone footage this morning. I think it's somewhat self-explanatory, but you really don't get the full effect until you see our stairs are completely covered in sand. I think the worst of it is up here. Oh, nice. Well, we successfully eliminated the need for one step on the hot tub deck. <laughs> nice and firm. You can just walk right up that. And this is where Alyssa and I failed at damming up the sand. <laughs> well, looks like we succeeded a little bit. So our conduit's got all jacked up and we did successfully dam it up here. So hopefully that's all firm now. And when we backfill the foundation, I think I can get up here with the mini and put some fill up here. That rock is for the foundation there. So I think we make the best decisions we know how in the moment. And I feel that this project has needed to be done for a long time. This is not how I saw this project going. I did not foresee getting a last minute phone call and having to pump this trench in the dark by work lights. Just seems so stereotypical. I hate that a lot of these projects are like just full of chaos. And I think had everything worked well last night, we'd have been done before dark, but didn't work that way. So ironically now we've got a mess this morning to clean up and more work. But I guess the good news is it's not massively urgent to get this done. I feel really frustrated because I feel like we have a lot of projects that are in state of half completion and it's not something that I take pride in. In fact, I find it quite stressful. But it's not always obvious how to do these projects and I think we have to just keep putting our best foot forward and finding a way. So the good news is we can shovel this sand and we can kind of shape it do what we want with it so it won't be too hard to move a little bit of repairs to do on the upper part of the trench doesn't make this hill any less steep overall I feel that the sand was a success of all of our options it had the greatest potential to work and it looks pretty good we're really thankful for the people who came to help us with it <clears throat> we feel like they've been a, an asset to us through this whole build last night you couldn't have stepped in this stuff because it was too mushy from all the water and overnight it's already compacted i think that this whole project would have gone exponentially better had we not been forced into pumping at night when i say forced we started way before dark but the last truck got delayed by an hour and a half which is enough to completely kind of sabotage <laughs> the effectiveness of the project. So for now, we'll move on to the next project. This trench has been our nemesis since we built it. One year ago, Alyssa told me, she looked back and we started this trench one year ago, exactly, probably within a week. So we're happy it's done. We've now got a reliable water system. We just added water to it uh, a couple days ago for the first time since September and it is almost December so that's a massive improvement for our life we're hoping that it'll feed us all winter long without having to add any water and of course once the house gets built it'll be a reliable water system I know people will ask about the well a well is part of our long-term strategy 
but the cistern is part of that strategy. We have other videos that discuss the subject, so give those a watch. We'll answer a lot of your questions about our water system. Pretty proud of us for choosing a property that allows us to take advantage of gravity and for seeing through building our own self-contained water system. Pretty exciting. <laughs>